Hey, what's up guys? It's Seb256 here, and today I have some Xenoverse mod gameplay for you guys, and I'm going to be using Agween's mods. Now, if you want Agween's Xenoverse mods, you do have to become a patron, but if you only put up a dollar, you could use them, because of, uh, unfortunately, he won't be doing any more public releases, uh, just because there's a lot of um, stealing going on in the Xenoverse mod community, which is understandable. You don't want anyone to take your uh, take all your work and get the credit for it. You know, I, it's completely understandable. And like I said, just for a dollar, you get all his mods monthly? That's great. Um, so, you know what? Today, we're going to play with the what-if version of Gohan if you train in Super. Now, this is a custom-made one from uh, Agwing, like I said. And he's able to achieve Super Saiyan God and Super Saiyan Blue. And then he even has a little extra transformation of his own in the Super Saiyan Blue version. Now, so we're going to go ahead and pick him. And then we're going to go ahead and pick the what if version of Super uh, Saiyan Blue Trunks if he was in Dragon Ball Super, or if he achieved this form in Dragon Ball Super. Now, I really like that Agwin gave him the Whis armor that uh, Vegeta has. Now, I hope in some time in the, in some time in the next couple episodes, Vegeta will pass that down to him. I don't think he will, just, but that's just the fan base of me. I don't think they're ever going to have that happen. But let's just look at him. He looks badass in it with the Super Saiyan blue hair, the coloring, the sword. I'm also glad he, uh, Aguin decided to let him have the sword still because that's part of him. You can't get rid of his sword. It's how we first got introduced to Trunks in Dragon Ball Z. So it's only natural to keep him with it. Alright, so now sale. we're going to choose a place to play. We're going to play... We're going to play... Uh, in the Wasteland, alright? We don't want anything to get hurt when, when these two guys go head to head. Um, oh so yeah, I'm hoping I don't get my ass beat because I haven't really ever done commentary on a Xenoverse video before. I have actually, yeah, this is my very first time, so I don't know why I said never. And yeah, this is my very first time, so I hope I don't get too distracted and, uh, lose to the computer. That would be really embarrassing. <laughs> Alright. Oh, jeez. You know, the one thing I'm never gonna miss in Xenoverse 2 is the hit detection from Xenoverse 1 or Xenoverse 1, uh, because, um... It's complete ass, to be to be fair. Like I, you shouldn't be able to miss combos. I mean, miss hits and combos. You know, when you're right on the character. Okay, that got that backhand on me. All right. Jeez, Agwin gave uh, Trunks a lot of stamina. Get that first command mail on him. All right, charge up a little bit. Get some more key back. Come on, come on, come on. Always a hurt. Uh, if you've seen any of Rhyme Cell's videos, he's also said that the, the charge up time for uh, charging key has become a lot faster. So you're not like stuck there, just you know, waiting, waiting to power up while someone attacks you, which is a great thing too. Oh, jeez, I thought I dodged it. All right, good one, Trunks. Good one. See that stamina is gonna piss me off. Come on, Trunks, do more than just use your super explosive wave. Alright. That's enough of that, alright. I had enough of that. This ultimate Super Saiyan God. See how it kinda looks like Super Saiyan 5, but I can get a comparison video between the two. And it has those really key differences which make it uh, really unique. I like that he gave uh, Gohan the mullet back because Gohan always, like, even when they did that Dragon Ball Heroes uh, Super Saiyan 4 version of Gohan, I thought that was so badass. Like, he, he had the long hair and everything, and I'm glad he decided to give that to um, Gohan in this form. Ah, oh, come on, Trunks. This is. See, Trunks was playing around so much, my, my, my transformation ran out. Just. Come on, Trunks. <sighs> Alright, I don't really like that he faces, but it's good for attacks like that. Okay, good. Finally, we won. I thought I was going to lose just because Trunks was playing around and kept using his evasive. The stamina is cool. That, like, the, the amount of stamina that Trunks has is cool if you're using him, but if you're playing against him, it is going to suck because as you guys saw, he just kept using it and using it and using it. You know, you really couldn't even get close to him. But you know, we're going to go ahead and switch up and play with Trunks this time and let I've him get his revenge an and go on. Hopefully, hopefully I don't disappoint with Trunks. <laughs> 
Uh, you know what, guys? You know what? Today, today, or yeah, two days from now, we're actually like, two days from when I upload this video. You guys are gonna have seen the um, Super Saiyan Rhodes transformation. What do you guys think of that? I mean, like, do you do you like that uh, Goku Black or Black Goku was able to achieve his own Super Saiyan form? You know, does, does it make any kind of sense to you? I hope it, I hope they kind of explain it in the episode that's, that aired because, or is going to be airing before I upload this. I think we're in for a whole big surprise on it. <coughs> Come on, see, man. even Gohan has a stamina. At least that's the thing about the computer. He knows how to use stamina. He knows when to like interrupt your attacks. Oh, shit. Oh, he blocked that, okay. At least he didn't interrupt me. Come on, come on. Oh. Alright. I guess that's gonna happen. Uh, <clears throat> you can't, you can't do that in that explosion attack on me, I don't even know what it's called. Nope, you ain't gonna hit me with that. You ain't gonna hit me with that. I'm gonna hit you with this though. Oh, come on. I forgot Heat Dome doesn't really do any damage, even if you're like really up on them. Alright, let's finish them off with the final shine attack. There we go. Oh, I'm... <laughs> I am so glad he has that attack on him. That's actually one of my favorite attacks in Xenoverse 1. Just because you can charge it up. That's like the first ultimate in the game that you can actually charge up. You know, to cause more damage. They should have done that with Super Kamehameha instead of just, you know, having it be an automated or automatic amount of damage. Um, but you know what? Anyways, that's the end of the video, guys. I'm hoping you guys enjoyed this little um, fight between Trunks and Gohan to see, you know, the master versus the student or the... I, w would you even call this Gohan uh, Trunks as a master? Let's say the friend versus the friend, you know, from the future, I guess. But anyways, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'm going to catch you guys in the next Xenoverse, uh, Xenoverse Mod video. See you guys later.